Here are some sample problems involving buoyancy. In the first problem, we are given a can of known dimensions floating in water. Step one, as always, is to read the problem. In buoyancy problems, always take notes on clues for volume and density. Make sure to note what is being asked for. In this case, we want to know how much of the can is being submerged below the water. Set up the free body diagram. Set up the coordinate system. Remember, for floating objects, the force differential due to pressure is abbreviated as FB, the force of buoyancy. Insert expressions for the forces. For buoyancy, remember that the relevant quantities are the density of the liquid and the volume displaced by the object in that liquid. Apply Newton's second law Rearrange Insert the expressions and solve for the unknown As always, check that the units properly cancel. Finish by rereading the problem, making sure all variables have been considered and you answered the question. In the second example, we have a ball completely submerged, rising to the surface with known acceleration. Start by reading the problem, taking note of density and volume considerations. Take note of what is being asked for. In this case, it is the density of the liquid that is unknown. Set up the free body diagram. Set up the coordinate system in the direction of acceleration. Set up expressions for the forces. Keep in mind that the densities and the volumes may still be different. Note that the mass of the object can be expressed as the product of its density and its volume. For fully submerged objects, the volume of the object is the same as the displacement volume. Set up Newton's second law, keeping in mind that the acceleration is not zero. Insert expressions, keeping in mind, yet again, that the mass of the object can be expressed as the product 
of its density times its volume. Simplify the expression and solve for the unknown. Reread the problem and check for reality. In this case, the density of the liquid must have been greater than that of the ball for the ball to rise. In the third example, we will take that same ball and the same liquid, but we will try to keep it below the surface. We read the problem for density and volume clues. We take note of what is being asked for. In this case, we want to know how much force is needed to keep the ball below the surface. We draw the free body diagram. Notice that this time there is an additional force aside from just the weight and the buoyancy force. We write out expressions for the forces. Once again, because the object is fully submerged, the volume of the object is the same as the displacement volume. We apply Newton's second law. insert the expressions for the forces, and solve for the unknown. Finally, we plug in. As always, don't forget to reread the problem at the end.